All right, diving into Shinkinson Zero. Feels like the exit eight all over again, except this time, maybe the train will actually take us somewhere exciting, or we'll just go in circles like Joe's thought process. Are you real, bro? The only thing circular here is the logic that led you to think that was a clever jab. But fine, let's find these so-called out of place elements. Maybe we'll spot Donald's sense of humility tucked away in the lost and found. Humility in the lost and found don't think it's big enough to hold Donald's ego, though. But focusing on Shinkansen Zero, let's not derail ourselves looking for things as elusive as Joe's coherent strategies or Donald's tax returns. Hey, at least my tax returns aren't as fictional as Joe's chances of spotting anything subtle. But OK, team, let's scan for anomalies. And by anomalies, I don't mean Barack's sense of fashion. Bro, stop arguing like Nikocado Avocado. The only thing out of style here is your outdated insults. Let's concentrate on the game. Maybe we'll find a clue that's as obvious as Donald's comb over strategy. Is it just me or is everyone on this train Japanese? I was half expecting to see a few Europeans milling about. Makes finding anything out of place a bit more challenging. Joe, it's a Japanese train. Shinkansen, remember? What did you expect? Donald eating a salad? Screw your husband, Barack. Also, Joe, what in the hell are you doing? Skipping all the dialogue? Bro, we're not here for a novel reading session. I'm trying to find the anomalies, not immerse myself in war and peace. The faster we get through this, the faster we can actually play. And let's be honest, given our current situation, we can't really afford to make video formats that are too long, so you might as well speed up. Bro, there's no way I actually messed up that part like that. Seriously, it looks straightforward. What can I say, Joe? That's a skill issue. Maybe if the game was about bungling straightforward tasks, you'd be in S tier. Just to catch everyone up on what's happening here, if you spot something unusual in the game, you turn back. If there's nothing out of the ordinary, you keep going. All this until you reach the end, designated as zero. Simple, right? Unless, of course, you're Joe. Okay, for once the guys would say I'm doing good, right? Uh, is it just me or is there a lady half in a wall over there? Um, Joe, maybe you should step back and not get too close. We don't know if these things can attack us. This game's unpredictability is part of the challenge, and let's not volunteer as test subjects for whether the NPCs can go rogue. But seriously, this has got to be one of those unusual things we're supposed to notice, right? Definitely not everyday scenery, Joe. Mark it down as an anomaly, but let's keep our distance. No telling what the game developers programmed these wall residents to do. Joe, what the fuck are you waiting for? There's nothing here, let's move. And why are you even talking? I don't want to restart this whole scenario again. I've already messed up one step, another mistake, and we're back at square one. Can we all just focus? This isn't helping. We need to figure out what's going on here. Is there something like a demon or whatever messing with us? Because it feels like we're caught in an endless loop, constantly looking for something that might not even be there. He's got a point. Are we in the back rooms or something? This loop? It's like we're being toyed with. Every step we take feels calculated by something else. Okay, lights out. That means there's an anomaly nearby. Time to turn back. Honestly, the last time I played this game, well, the predecessor, Exit 8, I found myself pondering over the most absurd situations. Like, imagine if I had to pivot every time my fridge was bare, or when Joe here hits those fleeting moments of unexpected brilliance, or when Barack magically thinks my fries are communal property. You got something to say, Donald? about the fries or the anomalies? Donald, I swear, your bizarre comparisons, they're oddly on point. It's these unexpected moments that keep us on our toes, in the game and apparently with your snacks too. No, but seriously, let's take a pause with the snack for at least four or six videos. We're kind of overdoing it. I don't want to end up looking like Donald. Bro, come on, you definitely want to look like me. Check out these muscles. Donald, all I see is an orange ass. Doritos cheddar jellyfish with no legs talking nonsenses. Not some kind of muscular man. Where are these muscles you speak of? I will not forget that, Barack. Count on me to ruin your life from now on. You already ruined it the moment you reminded everyone that I only bombed six countries. Thanks for telling everyone my ratio, you cheesy Cheetos fuck. Fellas, fellas, let's focus here. We've got anomalies in the Shinkansen to find. Donald, you couldn't find an anomaly if it was wearing a MAGA hat. Oh, I'll find the anomalies. I'll find them bigly. I've got the best eyes. Everyone says so. Sure, Donald. Just like you had the biggest inauguration crowd, right? Let's not start counting things, guys. We don't have all day. We've got a bullet train to save.
Okay, I'm either totally blind or the anomaly is really, really well hidden. You see something, you guys? For me, you have always been blind, but while I don't see much, I'm selling a ceiling, I see blue chairs, I see freaking windows, not much like a slab. Wow, Donald, what you just said is really useful. So fucking great and helpful. Please, Barry, be helpful. Tell me, did you find anything? No, actually, I'm not looking the screen. No, but seriously, what's the point of having you next to me and you hear so much blaming and insulting me if you can't even detect the smallest or most monstrous things? Help me find these damn anomalies. Maybe we need to start thinking like an anomaly. If I were a rogue sushi cart or a misplaced samurai, where would I hide? A rogue sushi cart or a misplaced samurai? Donald, your examples are even more messed up than what Joe uses all the time. Barack, I swear your level of negativity is as black as your skin color. If I were hiding an anomaly, I'd disguise it as something completely ordinary. Something so normal, you'd overlook it a hundred times. Like a businessman running for president. You know what? I don't give a damn. I'll continue even if I lose. It doesn't matter. It will always be better than seeing your examples of nonsense. You're really something else, you know that? Oh, Joe, always playing the tough guy. At least when I lose, I make it look good. You, on the other hand, can't even make winning look graceful. Okay, lucky me, I'm good at this. Let's find this anomaly before these two roast me into oblivion. Joe, finding anomalies with you is like trying to solve a puzzle with a piece missing. But don't worry, I'm here to fill in the gaps. Donald, considering your approach to filling gaps, I'm surprised you haven't suggested building a wall around the anomaly yet. Well, shit. At least it was easy to find, huh? Easier to deal with when it's right in your face, I guess. Sometimes the weirdest things are the most straightforward. Quite funny since you are here. Honestly, I've had more excitement watching grass grow at Mar-a-Lago. This game promised anomalies and delivered boredom. And the talking sushi? What was that about? If I wanted seafood to lecture me, I'd have gone to a climate change conference. You're not wrong. I thought this would be a nice break, but it's like choosing between watching paint dry and grass grow. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? Can you guys hear the footstep or? Yeah, I do. Well, I was actually not expecting this, honestly, just when I thought this game couldn't surprise me. Looks like we spoke too soon. The game heard us complaining and decided to throw us a curveball. Or maybe it's just trying to keep us awake? Well, game, congratulations. You have our attention now. Attention is one thing, but let's see if it can keep it. What's the incident? Another talking sushi rebellion? If it's sushi again, I'm officially retiring from video games. I don't give a shit. Let's see what we're dealing with this time. What the? For fuck's sake, we got bamboozled. And what the fuck is that thing? You narcoleptic fuck, it's only the child we renamed Sushi, and who is trying to destroy the loop with us? Kid, I'm gonna be honest with you, I have no fucking idea what you're telling me, I don't speak anime. If you need money, no, it's not on me, so leave me alone. Lil Mao, 